Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Time Spring, guys. Another gameplay here today on a game that you guys have never seen on this channel before called Paladins. Uh, and we'll get into the Paladins aspect in a second, and I'll explain the game and how it's played and things like that however you want. But for the time being, I wanted to thank everybody so, so, so much for tuning into my channel while I wasn't able to be uh, making videos like this where I'm doing comms and stuff like that. I wanted to say thank you guys for tuning into the three videos that I made, which were the montages. Thank you so much for watching them. Thank you to all the new subscribers who subscribed over the extended period of time that I was playing competitive and I wasn't able to be posting videos like this. And that's why you haven't seen the... Uh, you know, live comms and the live gameplays that I was able to be posting while I wasn't in the midst of playing competitive. It, it was just got too much, and I wanted to focus really hard on my team. So thank you guys so much for sticking with this channel, and thank you so much to Ivan B who allowed me to use your music to make those montages. Thank you so 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 much. It really hooked. It really helped me out. Thank you. So, with that said wanted to talk about a game that I've been playing for the past month since I've been off of IW and the game is made by a team of experts at making video games what they are called high res studios the the link to their Twitter will be down below and this way if you guys feel like downloading the game for yourself you think the game is really cool and it's got a really cool aspect to it you can go download it yourself I encourage you to because I can't wait to see you all in the realm uh, making you know using your own champions regardless we will get to that in a second so paladins is a 5v5 game similar to overwatch and it has a little bit of like a League of Legends uh, type of feel to it uh and you know high res has been really good at that because you know they did make the game called smite which you know was they, which was also extremely successful so the game paladins has four uh, ca uh categories of champions and i'm gonna get into them right now so one of them the characters that i'm playing in this this character is called this champion is called tyra and the char the the champion that I was using originally in the first clip was called Victor. He's also a part of this category called Damage. Damage normally does killing. It, you know, they're doing all what they say they do. They do all the damage. They're kind of just putting down shots, taking out, you know, characters. They'll normally have the most damage in the game, obviously. And more times than not, they'll have the most kills. Now, there is one more category of champions that also... Uh, effects killing which is called flanks which I'll be playing which I'll be using in the next gameplay with as a champion called Androxus um, flanks normally they don't do like the amount of damage uh, that damage characters make but they also do like more at the same time if that makes any sense so so to elaborate they're normally doing like higher amounts of damage which allows them to get like kills faster or finish off kills but they're not doing as much damage per second and they probably not like I said more times than not they probably won't have more damage than the damage characters which is probably to be expected uh, now the other set one of the last subcategories that there are for champions is a frontliner which is what I'm killing right now it is his name is Grog, uh, Barrick, sorry. Uh, Barrick and, uh, other, there's more champions. Like I said, there's, there's 30 champions in this game, and they post a new champion every single month. Okay, so, you know, it, it gets a little confusing sometimes. But, the, the frontline champions are normally the champions that sit on the objective. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of passed it that little ring there. Uh, I'll get into that the the objective type of gameplay. I just kind of wanted to explain how how the characters work first. So, uh, frontline normally on the objectives, they normally have the most health, and they normally have shields attached to them. Like Ruckus, there, he's kind of using a shield, which allows him to stay alive longer. And then, last but not least, and probably one of the most important characters, and I wish I could play a support, uh, which is what the 
subcategory is. It's called a support. Normally they're your healers. They can do damage. Just not normally as much as, you know, obviously a Tyra, a Victor, you know, a Willow, Leon. So, uh, there's so many champions for you guys to choose from. And, you know, it's all about picking your your favorite. Like I said, supports are really, really important. You know, as you can see there, uh, Grok was keeping me alive so we can keep putting down damage. Unfortunately, we did lose this game. Now, to explain how we lost the game and how the objective standpoint of Paladins works, I'm going to explain all that right now. So, Paladins is played, as I said, as a 5v5. Uh, five characters on each side. In casuals, you can pick the same character as, another t as the other team, but in competitive, you can obviously it's like league of legends where you know there's one ba you pick one champion to ban and then uh, like on each team each team gets one champion uh to ban and then you kind of pick you can't pick obviously the same character so if i pick an androxus somebody else can't pick the androxus on the other team or on the same team which I feel like that's you know almost a given but you know Nobody else knows what this game is, so kind of explaining it. So, there is, it's the first person, the, the objective is played for the first person to reach four points, as you can see at the top of the screen. Right now, I uh, we are winning three to four because we captured the objective, which I'm also going to explain. So, at the beginning of each round, there is an objective normally in the middle of the map, and I'm not going to even say normally, always in the dead center in the middle of the map. This way, it makes everything even. Uh, so, in the middle of the map, there is an objective. The first team to capture the objective, it spawns a payload, which is what we're escorting right now. You're supposed to be escorting the payload all the way to the other team's objective. Uh, and that'll give you another point each round you there is two possible points that you can gain uh, The objective ca capturing the objective is one point and then escorting the payload to the other team's capture point is Another point or if the other team Defends and doesn't allow you to capture the payload then they can get a point which kind of evens out the game so as you can see right here, it's we're winning right now three to two, but because we failed to push the payload uh, all the way to the team's capture point, we ended up losing the second point to the round, and now it's 3-3, just like how it was in the previous game where it was also 3-3, and we ended up losing. So now the only way to win in the realm is by capturing the beginning objective to every round, or if you're pushing the payload and you're winning three, you're you're out, you're three out of four, and you capture the payload to make it four out of four. That's the only other way. You cannot win a game in the realm by defending. So obviously, maybe a bit confusing while I'm explaining it, but hopefully you guys enjoy watching this gameplay. And you know, I've kind of explained it enough that you guys might want to go check out the game. I will leave the, in the description below, I'll leave the, uh, the highres.com or something or another, the way that you can download, uh, Paladins on your PC, or if you guys are a console gamer just like myself, you can go ahead and download it on Xbox and or PlayStation. It is free to download. You do not have to pay to download this game. And one thing that's really unique about Paladins and not any other game really has this is the competitive scene is equal for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Whereas like games like Call of Duty, the competitive scene is normally just based around PlayStation and that's it. Now, Paladins kind of brings in something different where, you know, if it doesn't matter if you're on, you know, PlayStation or if you're on Xbox or if you're on PC, it has separate competitive scenes for each console, which is super, super cool. Uh, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, me explaining this to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the look of the game. The art style of the game is super cool. And the, the first person shooter aspect of it is just even cooler. So uh, I hope you guys go check it out. Uh, it, it's really complicated of a game, but you know, once you learn how to, you know, combo moves and kind of be, kind of learn how to do all of it, it, it just becomes first nature. And it's, it's such a fun, fun game to play. And, you know, I, I, I challenge you guys to go out and download it. If you guys have any questions, tune into my live stream. It'll be starting at 1.30 today. 
um, and I normally stream about 1.30 to 6.30, so about five hours every day on this game, and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to stream World War II and stuff like that, but, anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, if you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, uh, go check out my Twitch down below, and go check out High res Studios Twitter and their website if you guys want to download Paladins and try it out, it's technically in its beta stage, it's been in its beta stage for two years, so, but, you know, go check it out. It's super cool. And let me know if you get it. And maybe I'll come play with you. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. This is your boy Snipe signing out. Peace!